And welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Voltage McGammer. Today we'll find out what we can do from the Great Healer. Acquiring the elemental stars is our fate alone. What? Are you suggesting that we place the world, fate of the world in the hands of Isaac and Garrett? Garrett is only a child. We can't expect him to bear such a burden. Great hero shakes his head. The wise one has spoken. Ah, uh, that's just. Ah, uh, that's not a very good reason. Each of you shares responsibility for this. Ah, uh, that's a very good reason. Now, each of you must make your own decision. I don't know what to do. Isaac, you decide. Isaac, will you accept the responsibility of the fate of this land? Uh, I don't really want to, but I'll say it just to sound awesome and stuff. You accept? Oh, Isaac, you can't mean it. You chose to leave your decision to Isaac. There shall be no further discussion. Garrett winces. Oh, wise one, these two have accepted your quest. Give us your next command. Whoa, the light shines brightly now. The wise one descends upon us. He gets a force premonition. You two are quite brave to take on this quest. I shall be watching you. Choose your destiny wisely, young ones. And he fades. Poor guy. That was the wise one. What did the wise one say? Felix must unlock the power. What? Find the lighthouses. You will have the guidance of the elemental star. They all frown and wince and stuff. Uh, then what? What should they do once they're there? Surely that cannot be all the advice that you can offer them, Great Healer. Great Healer has not healed. Seek the elementals, the Jin. They will prov prove useful. Yes, they will prove very useful. And I'll show you why as soon as I get more of them. Isn't there anything else? That is all. What? That's it? Isn't there anything else you can tell them? That is all, Mayor. What? I leave it up to you, Isaac. Garrett. And the Great Healer walks out. Because he's tired of answering the questions, and everybody frowns. Well, yeah. How many visitors has this been? Like eight? Nine? Quite an intro. It, hey, isn't it almost time to meditate? Uh, er... Oh, yeah, meditation! Let's go! Let's leave the awkwardness behind. The mayor triple dots. Well, who, what good are those guys? Sending children off to no help or direction. I agree, but... They didn't give us any other choice. Eh. Uh. Then, when should they go? It doesn't sound like they, we can wait for it to wait. Tomorrow, then? What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes. Aw. That's not much time. Oh. We rest a good night. Bit uneasy, but yeah. Two kids. Alright, okay. Why is everyone hanging around the town's gate? What? Didn't you hear? Isaac and Garrett are leaving Vale on a journey. I wish I could go. I heard it's going to be really dangerous. Oh yeah? So everyone's down there to say goodbye? Dog runs by. Random dog. Kids nod at each other. Girl looks down a bit and they're all confused and stuff. Hey, what's the matter? 
Weird. Isaac's mother isn't there to see him off. What? You're right. She's not there. Dog chases cat. Hey, should we go say goodbye too? Sure, let's go. Yep. Whoa, that's everybody in town? That's not as many people as a oh. We are counting on you, Isaac. Oh, and you too, Garrett. Don't drink the water if it smells funny. And take this with you too. Isaac got an herb. Uh, I know not to drink stagnant water, sis. That's his sister? Don't leave. listen to him, Isaac. He's a pig. He'll eat anything that's not tied down. Ah. Door is very late. Everybody frowns. Oh, that's right. Auntie Dora asked me to give this to you, Isaac. Isaac got the catch beads. I guess we're all set to go. Ah, uh, Isaac. Think again, Garrett. It must be very difficult for Dora. As Garrett's mother, I know how Dora must be feeling. But I still have Garrett's mother, while Dora has only Isaac. She doesn't want you to go, Isaac. But she knows that you have to, and it hurts to see you leave. They can't keep standing around this like here forever, or they'll never leave. So, one final farewell. They all jump up and sim Farewell! Eh. They're all just kind of forced off. Okay, and the world map. Hey, there's something flying around here. Let's talk to it. Hello. A traveling warrior. And I see you're an adept too. Eh. You are just the kind of fighter that I've been looking for. Won't you please take me along with you? What? I am a Venus Ginny. My name is Flint. What? I must find my comrades. We are separated from each other when this volcano erupted. Maybe you can help gather my friends together as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be very beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy will grow stronger, and your adept skills will also improve. You can call on us in battle, or just use our powers to boost your own. If you call on any of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think, will you take me with you? Yes. Don't say no. Oh, you'll see. You won't regret it. Flint, the Venus Ginny, is now Isaac's ally. Now, I'll briefly teach you about how to use Ginny. No! After bringing a Ginny into your party, you must add on to somebody. Yeah, go to the Ginny on the menu. To give your Ginny to someone else, move it like this. Hit A, go over to the person you want to give it to. Hit A to get. Gin must always be selected like that. After choosing who you will take off the Ginny, you can set it. Setting your Ginny changes your attributes and maybe even your class. Yep. When your class changes the synergy, you can use may also change. Next, I'll show you how you can use us in battle. Each Ginny has different powers. Once we are set, you gotta leash us to use our powers. So let me demonstrate my power by attack, Z Isaac. Flint back over to Isaac. Yep. And we get to a random battle with a zombie! Isaac's party attacks first. Fight. Go over to Jin, because it does not actually. Choose its command to unleash me in battle, okay? Yep. Strike a blow that can cleave stone with Flint. What? I missed that, sorry. Isaac unleashed Flint! Zombie takes 25 damage. Garage is defending. See? When you unleash me, I attack with my mighty stone cleaver. After being unleashed, we Jin will then stand by to be summoned. Yep, we have a summon already. If you have standby Jin, you can summon even greater powers. Elemental power of Earth. Use on zombie. Venus! Isaac and Garrett defend again. Zombie takes 44 damage and dies. You felt zombie. Awesome! See, we Jin can be very useful, can't we? And one more thing. Jin. After Jin has been used to summon, it must spend time in recovery. 
After we recover, we will be set ourselves again and be ready to attack. So we go from set to standby to recovery, then back to set. This is the simplest way to use us. Do you get all that? Yes. Oh yeah, if you want to learn more about Jin, refer to the help, okay? Yep, uh, help is a select button right there. Okay, I'll join you now. Thank you very much. Please use us Jin wisely. He hops, molds into plant sprinkles, and we get strengthened by Earth. Yeah! The VS Jin, Flint, has joined Isaac. Awesome. Next time on Let's Play, uh, Golden Sun. We'll continue to explore the overworld and do stuff. Later!